A tragic photo of a drowned man and a little girl is seen as a reminder of the U.S.-Mexico border crisis. And the U.S. Senate has addressed a renewed outrage over the Trump administration's handling of the crisis. Our home unit reports. The U.S. Senate approved a bill on Wednesday that would provide 4.6 billion U.S. dollars for the humanitarian crisis on the southern border with Mexico. The legislation has to be merged with a different border aid bill passed by the House of Representatives before it is sent to be signed into law by President Trump. About $1.3 billion would be used to improve facilities at the border and the rest for the care of migrant children. But even before the Senate-approved bill was put to a vote, the House rejected it, setting up a clash over immigration policy. The House claims the measures will not improve conditions at detention centers. House Democrats say their version of a border bill would take better care of children by delivering appropriate medical care, nutrition and hygiene. They also highlighted the need for translators at border facilities. Today, sadly, our values are being undermined by the president's failed policies, which has intensified the situation of heartbreak and horror on the border, which challenges the conscience of America. This legislation is a vote. Today, our legislation is a vote against the cruel attitude toward children of this administration. The need for humanitarian assistance was put into clear focus by a shocking photo of a drowned father and his 23-month-old daughter, which went viral worldwide. The photo shows them face down on the banks of the Rio Grande with the daughter's slim arm around her father. Pope Francis expressed immense sadness after seeing the image, and the photo was published on the first page of the Vatican newspaper. The UN's refugee agency said the picture represents a failure to address the violence and desperation pushing people to take the life-threatening journey. Hong Yu, Arirang News.